Today we are picking up in Luke chapter 13. I'm going to start in verse 18. And here, just sharing a few verses today where Jesus gives a couple very short um, parables and trying to describe and talk about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. When he says in verse 18 of Luke chapter 13, what is the kingdom of God like? What is the kingdom of God like? And to what shall I compare it, he says. It is like a mustard seed which a man took and put in his garden, and it grew and became a large tree, some versions say, like the New King James. Like a tree, a large tree, and the birds of the air nested in its branches. And that's the first parable he gives, this parable of a mustard seed. A mustard seed where he talks about, in other places, how mustard seed is so small, one of the smallest among the seeds, yet it grows to be greater than most all others. And how this mustard seed, even though it starts so small, it grows up into a large tree so that, or, or so much so, that birds come and nest in its branches. Well, again, he said in verse 20, to what shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven. It is like leaven or yeast, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal until it was all leavened. Um, we, we can understand that one too. This yeast, this leaven, when you put it in the dough, it makes the dough rise. And so like a woman who takes and she puts it into a certain measurement of the meal and the dough the, until it is all completely filled and leavened and, and spread out. Jesus here in trying to get the people to think about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus is really trying to put it to ask him, you know, what will come to mind when you think about how, how will I compare to what should I liken, Jesus says, the kingdom of God. And both of these examples he gives of the mustard seed and the leaven, they both start off small. And I'm wondering if what Jesus means here is that very idea that it starts out small, but then it spreads, it grows, it becomes large, and like the birds, the birds come and nest in his branches. You know, just like with the gospel. Really, when you think about it, the gospel message of the kingdom of God started with, with the apostles, with the, the, the certain number of disciples that Jesus had. But then after the day of Pentecost, the, the gospel spread, and we see it just kept spreading and growing to more and more and more. And look at where we are today. The gospel, the kingdom of God, everywhere, all over. Many have come to the Lord. Many are enjoying this salvation, just like Jesus said was going to happen. It started small. Nearly 2,000 years ago with Jesus and his disciples, with Jesus and his death and resurrection, with the apostles of Jesus on the day of Pentecost. And look how much it has grown. Look how much it has spread. And we need to keep spreading the gospel, continue to try to bring more souls to the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God to grow, we need to pray that the kingdom of God continues to grow and grow and grow with more and more souls being saved. Let's think about Jesus' parables here, and let's make sure that we're, we are growing in our own hearts. Let's make sure, like the mustard seed and the leaven, that we are growing in our own lives, but then also that we are helping others grow and that we are leading other souls to Christ to be part of his kingdom too. For the kingdom of God to continue to grow and be filled with souls that are saved. God bless you.